Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Chance Cubes in Minecraft 1.14.4. This is basically very similar to Lucky Blocks. The only difference is that Chance Cubes can actually allow you to create and change and do all of your own things with the cubes. It does have a ton of awesome stuff at default, but if you want to add your own stuff, you can do that using, as it says, their easy to read JSON file format. So pretty cool, pretty easy stuff there. And also you can add, include this into mod packs and add the custom rewards to those mod packs, all sorts of awesome stuff with that. And that's why Chance Cubes can a lot of times be better than Lucky Blocks and why we're doing a tutorial on it today. First and foremost though, we do have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24 hour Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you are looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy, Apex Minecraft hosting is the place to get it. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex, first link down below. Now, what's cool is you can also install Chance Cubes on Apex if you'd like. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Chance Cubes installed locally in Minecraft. So to do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official Chance Cubes download page. And when you're here, look on the right-hand side. You'll see this Minecraft 1.14 version here. See that? Minecraft 1.14. And then under that, you'll see these different versions. You want to click on the one with the green R on it. That means it's released. It's ready to go. So you want to click on that purple download button next to the one with the green R. Then it will go ahead, take us off, and after five seconds, your download will begin. Now, fair warning, you will need to save this file or keep this file, depending on what you browser you're on. If you're on Google Chrome, for example, it's downloaded here in the bottom left, and you want to keep the file. It's safe to keep as long as it says Chance Cubes in it. On Mozilla Firefox, in the center of your screen, and you'll need to save the file, and it's safe to save as long it says chance cubes in it now we're not done downloading just yet we still need to download forge you, you, luckily we have an in-depth tutorial on doing this here how to download and install forge and we're going to even show you how to do it in this video so when you go to the description down below third link down below we'll take you here this is our forge tutorial as i said but we're going to be going over it all in this video so let's go ahead and click on the green download forge button there that will then open up a forge's official website where we want to make sure that this is 1.14.4 minecraft forge and as you can see it does say mc 114.4 there signifying that if it's not the correct version not 1.14.4. Go ahead and click on the left hand side, that plus on 1.14. Then click on 1.14.4 and you'll be taken here. Once you're here, it is very important that you download the installer under download latest there. So under download latest, click on the installer button. It'll then take us off to add focus where we have to wait five seconds. Stop! Don't click anything on the page. Stop! Click deny up here. And no, your download's not ready. Top right. Just look in the top right when you see this red skip button up here in the top right. Click on that red skip button. Don't click anything else on your page except that red skip button in the top right and then it will download in the bottom left here and say forge and as long as it does say forge in the file that is downloading you are good so ours does say forge 1.14.4 we're good to keep that file i'm gonna say you have to save it in the server screen it's safe to save as long as it does say forge now if we minimize our browser here on my desktop, I have Chance Cubes and I have Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries, they're in your downloads folder. So just click the little icon in the top left for me, it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click the little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen to open up the start menu, then type in downloads right like so. You'll then have this downloads file folder. In here you'll find Chance Cubes and Forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now to get started, we're going to start off with Forge. So go ahead and right click on Forge, click on open with, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. But Nick, I don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary. Well, no worries, no worries whatsoever. All you want to do is come up to your browser, go to the description of this video, and find how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. There's a link down below, and this is our in-depth tutorial on how to get Java for Minecraft mods and get everything up and running. Go through this tutorial, and then it should work. If it doesn't, you'll need to run the jar fix, which is also linked down below. And basically what this does is make all of the jar files on your computer work with Java once again. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser here, we can finally right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. Then click OK. This will open up the Forge installer here, where you will then want to click on Install Client and click OK. It will now go through and install Forge and do everything that it needs to do to do that, unless you haven't played Minecraft 1.14.4 before. If you've never played Minecraft 1.14.4, this is not going to work. So it's important that you have played Minecraft 1.14.4 before. And if you do have a failure, go do that, come back, and this will work. However, as you can see, successfully install Client Profile for Forge. Awesome. Click OK there, and it will close out of that. Now it's time to get Chance Cubes installed. To do this, we again want to go to the top left for me, but it's probably in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that, and then go ahead and type in Run, R-U-N. You'll then have this Run app here. Click on that, and it'll open up this handy little app with a 
text box in it. In this text box, you want to type percent sign, APP DATA percent sign, percent app data percent, and hit enter. Then it will go ahead and open up our roaming folder here, where you'll have a dot Minecraft folder. And then in your dot Minecraft folder, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? What do I do? Well, don't freak out. It's all right. Just right click over here in the white space, create a new folder, entitle that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder and drag and drop chance cubes into that mods folder. Boom, you have now installed chance cubes in Minecraft 1.14.4. We're not done just yet. We still need to open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then in the Minecraft launcher, we wanna make sure we're selecting Forge. To do this, go ahead and click on the little arrow down here to the left of the play button and then select the Forge profile here. If you don't have that, no worries. Click on the installations button up here at the top and then you'll wanna create a new installation for Forge here. To do that, go ahead and click the plus new right here and then you can name this whatever you want i'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com why am i naming it that because that is our minecraft server the best minecraft server in the multiverse we have greed protected survival and custom skyblock with our medieval survival server having over 25 quests and amazing amazing player based economy and then we have our aquatic survival server that is absolutely incredible greed protected as well with a slash shop based economy and then our skyblock has a balanced economy with custom enchants and just overall incredible stuff so come play with this play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip now under version here, we're going to go ahead and click the drop down box and then you want to select release 1.14.4-forge. As you can see right there that is, we're going to click on that. I'm going to change the resolution here so we can see once we're in game and then go ahead and click create. That'll create this play.breakdowncraft.com profile here where we want to then highlight over it and then scroll over and click the green play button. That will then open up Minecraft 1.14.4 with chance cubes installed. It's going to go through this like loading process here and then we'll be good. But I do want to mention we are going to show you, I am going to show you exactly how to find the, um, the, 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 the files to change it, the JSON file that it's talking about to add your own mods in and add your own things in. But it is worth mentioning that it is a bit more difficult than you know you would expect. It's easy to read, but it can be difficult. So that is one thing I want to mention. But if we go ahead and click on mods here, we will see Chance Cubes is installed. I am also going to go ahead and create a new world real quick. Call this world Chance Cubes and then go ahead and get this loading on up. However, while that's generating, let's go ahead and find our um, basically folder for creating new files. So what we want to do is come up to the top left for me again, bottom left of your screen, that little windows icon. We're going to type in run again, hit enter. We're going to type in percent sign, APP, DATA percent sign, percent app data percent again, and hit enter. Guess what? We're going to go back into dot Minecraft again. And then once we're in dot Minecraft, we're not going to be going into mods this time. We're going to be going into config here. And then we're going to be going into chance cubes. And then as you can see, custom rewards is right here. If we go ahead and double click on that, you can see that you can use schematics for that. You you can use sounds for that and you can use custom sounds resource packs and all of that stuff then you can go ahead and make all of that link together i believe using profiles but i'm not exactly sure um if you click here yes here are the profiles as you can see you can go in here and change things and do stuff so pretty cool like I said, I'm not going into how to create these rewards. You're gonna to have to Google that yourself and, and figure that out. That's something I'm not too custom with or know too well. However, I know it is something that you can definitely do and that is where you can add them and access those files. And once we're in game here, if we go ahead and click over, we'll be able to see the chance cubes that we have. As you can see, we have a chance values random. Um, and then we have this one as well. I don't even, I don't know what all this does, but let's go ahead and place these down. Oh, well, that's a very large chance cube there. I'm not gonna lie. All right, then let's go ahead and go to survival here. And we should be able to break these, right? Let's see. Okay. How cool is that? I, I wanna actually, whoa. It's still building. This is way cooler than Lucky Blocks, I'm not gonna lie. However, do not open these in an area where you want like to care about what's going on because we're about to destroy it again. Like what's gonna happen when I open that one? Oh, okay. So it's taking out blocks now. Well, this is actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's just moving them up. Oh, this is really cool. I actually really like this. This is awesome. Oh, and then they exploded. Oh, and then I broke that and it let out all sorts of underground. Huh, it glitched them under the ground. Very interesting. But yeah, there you go. That's Chance Cubes. Um... Pretty cool mod, if I do say so myself. Look at that. That's It's built that. Let's go over here. Let's open one right up here. Okay, I, I've, I've got to open another one of these because this is actually pretty fun. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we got fireworks. It turned at night. We got a fireworks show. A 
pretty aggressive fireworks show. Wow. That's actually pretty. Oh, look at that creeper sign. Wow. This is impressive, I'm not gonna lie. What happens if I open up another one? It's building something now. It's cool, it's building something over or under our fireworks show. That was a pretty cool finale. Wow, this is impressive. It's, it, yes, it's built as like a little... What is that? So now it's placing water? It's building like a fishbowl. Oh, it's doing the whole floating block thing again. This is cool. I don't know why I'm enjoying this so much, but I am. Huh, very, very interesting. And that is how you all can add a uh, custom, basically lucky blocks and chance cubes, to Minecraft 1.14.4. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And like I said, didn't go in depth with all of that um, in creating them. I believe that on the mods download page here, it goes a bit more in depth with it. Yeah, as you can see, there's the wiki here. And then once you're on this wiki, you can add custom block rewards, all of these different custom rewards. I will link this in the description down below in order to help you all out as much as possible. And if you want to create your custom rewards, there it is. You now know where those files are, and here's how to create them. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. Enjoy Chance Cubes in Minecraft 1.14.4. That is a lot of zombies. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.